Jeff Beck and Rod Stewart. Ain't Superstitious, that was from the first album, and before that was just an awfully good thing. It's off an album called Somebody Who Do the Hoodoo Man, and it's done by Driftin' Slim and his blues band, and it's on the Milestone label, produced by Pete Welding. A thing called Mama Blues, just Driftin' Slim and his harp doing all the uh, talking back and forth there. Chuck Berry, before that, I'm a rocker. Uh, the Coasters, Charlie Brown, and the fresh music that was in there, The Stones, their new single, Brown Sugar, in the beginning, Poco, from the Livern, something called Come On. Going to the border, eh? Borny, huh? <laughs> Looking for someone who can draw. I learned to draw at home with my spare time. <laughs> and others which are entirely unlike these are available now on record. Together they are called Zachariah, the original soundtrack album on ABC Records. Let's see, Zachariah, the soundtrack there too, is available at music factory stores, New England Music City, and Cheap Thrills. The Stonehenge Restaurant, which is in Ipswich, is proud to announce by popular demand, the return engagement of the Holy Modal Rounders. You can see her. <laughs> no, I was, I was trying to get by that one. You can see, hear, touch, feel, anything you want. Uh, the Holy Modal Rounders, this Friday and Saturday nights only. Shows are at 8 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. The tickets are still just 2.50. Next Thursday and Friday, April 22nd and 23rd, see the Stonehenge debut of Boz Skaggs. And Friday and Saturday, April 24th and 25th, See the return engagement of the Flying Burrito Brothers. For ticket information and reservations, call uh, 356-0441. And that's the Holy Modal Rounders this weekend at Stonehenge. Well, what are the chances that our planet Earth will survive changes in its ecology? Has man's advances in technology endangered his only home? Ecology gets top billing in the new planetarium program beginning March 30th at Boston's Museum of Science. Making full use of newly installed versatile equipment, Spaceship Earth begins in outer space, then zooms to the Earth's surface and beneath the sea as it explores ecological problems. Call the museum. Their number is 742-1410, and you'll get lots of details. That first thing was something by Procol Harum, called Pilgrim's Progress. After that, the Beatles and Anna, the Kinks, set me free. All good things, especially in this uh, kind of weather, on this kind of a day. Thunderclap Newman, when I think uh, from their only album, that's been around for such a long time, I would think uh, if they were going to do anything, they would have done it by now. But uh, you have to wait and see the creative process and all that. Steve Miller, finally, and the Cow Cow. This is the news. news, news. The date, September 10th, 1970. The place, Cook County Jail in Chicago. Sheriff Wood was introduced to an overwhelming round of applause. <laughs> Judge Joseph Power received an equally warm welcome. Then B.B. King got up and played his guts out. <laughs> B.B. King, live in Cook County Jail, available from ABC Records and Tapes. As the man said, available wherever a ABC Records are sold, and it's on Ampex stereo track cartridges and cassettes. See, the windows are open, 
and once in a while a little breeze will come in carrying something in it, uh, whether it be, might be sound or maybe a smell or maybe just a feeling, and it's really nice. That, I'm afraid, was an internal breeze, but uh, it still feels good on a day like uh, this one. Anyway, for those of you who enjoy participating in sports and reading about them, and for those who want the best account of what's happening in the sports world, we suggest you get a hold of a copy of Sports Illustrated. In this week's Sports Illustrated, for example, you'll get an insight into baseball 1971 with scouting reports on teams and top rookies. Sports Illustrated also gives a fearless forecast of the final league standings. This week you'll read about a new system for rating pictures designed by George Sisler of the Hall of Fame. And it seems to be working. The Orioles used the system and traded for, Mar for Mike Cuellar. Mike was an 8-11 and pitcher with the Astros in 68. Two years later, he's won 47 games for the Orioles. And don't discount the advertising content. There's a lot there, too, for the sports-minded. You'll see Curly's new sports blazer, the official blazer of the NFL and Sports Car Club of America. Curly blazers come in a wide range of colors and styles at a great price. Write the Curly Company, St. Louis, Missouri, zip code 63101, for stores near you that carry their line. Converse sneakers are highlighted this week with a new line designed by Cardinal great Lou Brock. Uh, both comfort and speed kept in mind. It's all in this week's issue of Sports Illustrated, an intelligent sports magazine.